keep dating these black women who have no reverence in their hearts towards you, who show who they are through celebrities based upon which female celebrity and male celebrity are having their disputes, you can see the resentment come out a bit more. I'm not just going to say it's from the women's side. You can see it from the men's side. And a lot of you 20, 30-something-year-olds have to understand you got teenagers. You got 13, 14-year-olds in these comment sections. And they're not telling you their ages. Take a step back. Next time you read a comment, just think to yourself, what is the level of maturity of this person? Ask yourself... Is it worth your time? Supposedly we only live for a drop in the ocean. Think about how how long infinity is. I'm not going to say eternity. Eternity means there's no beginning, there's no end. That means it, it always was and it always will be. You know, before before existence, there was eternity. After existence came infinity. Meaning you 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 had a beginning, but you have no ending. You live on forever. As a human species, the only way I know how to live forever is by creating some type of success that documents my accomplishments. And either they memorialize me through history books, awards, a celebrity status, or put me on the internet. That is the possible only way you have immortality as far as one part of the imagination may conjure up. I do believe it is possible for us to figure out a way to extend human life to 500 to 1,000 years. But enough of us have to believe it's possible. Back to the main subject. You only have a drop in the ocean. Maybe just 70, maybe 40, maybe 50. If you're lucky, 80, 90 to 100 years of existence that we call life. And you choose to use that by going back and forth with someone in a comment section on something called the internet that you don't even know who they are. Let me tell you something. People can consume your energy through that keyboard. You're only draining yourself. And at times, whoever you're trying to at least reach out to you and reason with, you better believe they ain't trying to hear that shit. They ain't trying to hear what you're trying to say. They want to be right. They have a need to be right. And I ain't talking about just females. You don't think you'd be having difficulty fucking with these simps in the motherfucking comment section think about it no 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 really think about it it just doesn't make sense to me i i feel for some of you <coughs> majority of you black men <clears throat> and if you're a black woman a white woman a white man i don't give a fuck if you happen to listen to this shit hispanic asian white or Afro-Latino. I don't give a fuck. If you listen to this shit, you're wasting your fucking time. You might be a very well-poised, astute individual who is salaciously imbued with the powers of intellect to combat verbally. But that doesn't mean shit to the ignorant and those who, do, who lack common sense. Look, I don't even like to be on this shit for too long. 
I'm going to just come in and out every now and then and spit a little bit of game. Just think about it. Common sense ain't that common no more. And immaturity is at an all-time high. No matter what gender you are, you have to really think that, yeah, girls do mature faster than boys. But that's a physical level. Because if you study them in middle school and in high school and beyond, the maturity level seems to match only based on who they were surrounded by during their upbringing. Anyhow, peace and blessings to you people. Just move a little wiser, preserve your energy, and guard your six.